Hey guys, it's Tanner. Welcome to Tanner's Tuesdays. I have not even been here on a Tuesday for like a month and a half. December was really busy for me, obviously because of Christmas and shopping and running errands and doing all the things and baking and I also started a new job. That's been time consuming. The new year, I had a really great New Year's. Go to my Instagram if you want to see the pictures. I, mean, I know this is late, everyone's already done it, like I'm a month behind, whatever. But like personally, 2016 has been the best year of my life thus far. And I'm really happy that it happened and it is the first year I've really gotten to be myself, be who I want to be, do things that I want to do. I just, adulting sucks, but then again it doesn't. So I've just made a list of all the greatest things that happened to me slash that I did slash that made 2016 the best year of my life. So beginning with 2016, my niece was born, my very first niece. Oakley was born in January of 2016 and such a blessing, so cute, she's so cute. I was honored to be asked to make two cakes for her, one for her pictures and one for her party and she's just the cutest little thing. Because now I'm an uncle. I'm an uncle, one thing. I feel old. Last February, Troy is going on the Blue Neighborhood tour and he released all his tour dates and I'm obsessed with Troy Sivan. Haley loves Troy Sivan. So we decided to go to the closest city, and that was Chicago. So we literally bought tickets, drove to Chicago, and we spent four days in Chicago and explored and saw Troy, and it was so amazing. And that was the first time I had ever been there. That happened in February, and then a couple months later, I went to London. First time being out of the country, I flew all the way over the Atlantic and landed in London, and I got to spend eight days with one of my best friends and live like a Londoner. Like, we did Londoner thing! Is that a thing? London, London y thing? I did things like a normal person there, I think. I have always wanted to go to London ever since I saw The Parent Trap when Lindsay Lohan goes over there, drives by Big Ben, and she sees that moving statue guy. It was just amazing. I saw The London Eye. I got to visit the making of Harry Potter where they filmed it and walk through the Great Halls. I'm literally getting chills right now. I also got to visit Brighton, which is like my favorite place. I was there for like 24 hours, but it was amazing. Brighton, like when Alfie Days and Zoe say to visit Brighton, like visit Brighton. Like if you want to not be like so busy in London, like go to Brighton, take the train. It's literally an hour and it is just chilled the beach, the beach huts, like I just loved it so much and I drugged James all the way down there and he enjoyed it, I think. <laughs> and then over the summer we had learned that my brother and his fiance decided to get married last year. They were supposed to get married in 2017 but they decided to push it up and get married in Florida. So that was really exciting. We did that in September. I got to ride on an airplane for like the first time in like 20 years with my mom. Okay, that's a lie. I think I was like five when I rode with her. She hadn't been on a plane since I was like five years old and then my sister Audrey, you guys know Audrey, that was her first time flying on a plane and we got to do that. We were only there for like 48-ish hours but it was a fun trip. Audrey got to see the beach for the very first time, so that was cool. It was it was nice. And it was nice because it was on an island that I had visited many, many times and be around family, so that was awesome. While I was in London, just on Twitter, um, on the laptop, whatever, and I was just scrolling through, and Troy announces another tour, the Suburbia Tour. Literally, I click on the picture, I zoom in, I'm looking through all the things. It says Kansas City, Missouri. I flip out. I immediately call Haley. I don't care that there's a six hour time difference. I call Haley and I said, we're buying tickets. We're going to see Troy again in the same year. So I literally get back from London. I have like two weeks off of work and I buy tickets. And in August of, I think it was August, of August of 2016, we went to go see Troy again. We sat in line for like five hours, which we didn't really need to do, but we did it. And we saw Troy again and it was awesome and this time we were in the pit. Last time we were in Chicago we were up in like box seating because I was gonna have an anxiety attack and then we were in the pit this time so much better. If you go to a concert, sit in the pit, stand in the pit, do whatever. There's 12 year olds everywhere who are snapchatting constantly. 
that's another thing. Just put your phones away. Like, yeah, I took Snapchats, I took pictures, whatever. But I literally didn't Snapchat the entire concert, but it's whatever. Just, just a tip. I think it was in October or November. A YouTuber named Peter Mon. I found him through Trisha Paytas or Charles Gross, one of the two. He shouted me out. He had 36,000 subscribers at the time, and I gained 100 subscribers in a week. And I'm so blessed, and that's so awesome. I'm just so thankful for this year. Like, it's just been great for me personally. I know things in this world, 2016 was not great for the world in general. For a lot of people, it was a bad year. For me, looking back, I think of more happy and pleasant thoughts than I do negative. So that's just me. That's just my rant for 2016. I've also made a lot of new friends this year. People who I didn't think liked me or I thought we had like a, like a, I don't know. I don't know, but one Twitter, one DM on Twitter can change everything and you can have like four new best friends ever. I don't know. It's just awesome to have all these new friends in 2016 that have rolled over to 2017. It's just so cool. The people you become friends with that you never thought in a million years she would be friends, even though you literally live right next to each other. And so yeah, so I've just learned in 2016 to love yourself. Love yourself and your life will be so much, so much happier and better than ever. I just want to say that 2016 was a great year for me and I hope 2017 is even better and even with all the downs there are ups so when you hit rock bottom there's no place to go but up so you just have to stay positive and everything. I'm what am I a freaking I don't even know. Thank you guys so much for watching and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. You don't have to and subscribe and Follow me on Twitter and Instagram because I'm more active there than I am on YouTube. So, and I guess I will see you guys on a Tuesday. So, just not every Tuesday. Because I don't want to set myself up for failure. So, I will see you guys on a Tuesday. I worry about nothing. I am wearing a nada. I'm sitting pretty impatient, but I'm